The Government Accountability Office is out with its first report card on the CARES Act. Kayla Tausche has that for us. Kayla. David, in 400 pages of findings and data, the GAO released a report this morning acknowledging the unprecedented nature of the crisis and the speed of the aid that was needed, but finds significant lapses in the administration and transparency of the stimulus packages so far. In the report, it notes that Treasury has sent $1.4 billion of stimulus checks to 1.1 million dead people. It calls for collaboration between the Social Security Administration and Treasury, not only to keep that from happening, but also to ensure that that money can be returned as quickly as possible. It calls on the Department of Transportation to launch a comprehensive plan for the aviation industry and notes that throughout the spring and as recently as May, that plan had not been constructed. It also notes that SBA and Treasury in administering the Paycheck Protection Program had significantly moved the goalpost in terms of guidance and failed to provide critical data that was needed to borrowers and lenders alike. It goes into the most detail about the PPP and some of the lapses that took place there. It said there was no system in place to keep people from obtaining both wages through the PPP program as well as unemployment insurance. It says that SBA was the only agency that did not provide GAO the critical data to actually put together its review of the program. And it notes that it took SBA 20 days to update guidance uh, that would keep publicly traded companies from getting this money then, as we saw throughout the spring, many of those companies coming under fire and required to return that money after they had already received it. Now, the GAO is the watchdog for the whole of government. Of course, given the size of these stimulus programs and the size of the government itself and the response throughout many federal agencies, it is clear that there will be a series of reports over the next several months that will look at the State Department's effort, the CDC's effort, the FDA's, HHS's. Uh, so this is the first of many many in a series of reports that we are expecting them to take a very critical look at how the government responded. Guys, back to you.